What's up guys, Jim the Game Guru. Today's video I'm going to be going over Mechorama for the Nintendo Switch. It's a small puzzle game where you have to guide a robot through a little tiny maze. Um, so right now with this, we're on the easy levels. And then you can actually flip through to medium levels, tricky levels, hard levels. And then you can also make your own levels in this game, which is really cool. This game is pretty cheap on the eShop. It's probably like about $5. And I thought it would look, look kind of interesting with the um, kind of like the, the spinning of the levels. And I mean, the graphics aren't too bad, they're not the greatest. But uh, kind of remind me of um, uh, Toad's Treasure Tracker, the way it spins. But with that one, well, obviously Toad's Treasure Tracker is a little different because you have to find things inside of um, the level. But this is just kind of you spin the level, you, you drag things, and you guide a robot right through a little tiny maze. So let's go ahead and dig into some of these levels. Now guys, if you don't mind, please, subscribing. Uh, it helps a lot for me and my channel. I'm a small YouTuber. I've been cranking out videos as much as I can to um, show people the gameplay of Switch games. And any any subscriptions is a huge help to me. Thank you. Okay, so this level is the temple one. So let's guide this robot through here. So what we got to do is you can actually use the left analog stick because I'm I, I have this in dock mode. And um, the the, the uh, pro controller is used by kind of pointing. So you use the left analog and then A, and you click to where you want your robot to go. You can use L and R to spin the entire map, just like this. These blocks up here are draggable, so I can actually hold onto the block and I can drag them up and down. So let's get this little guy up here. And see if we can spin this. Okay. Oh, we gotta spin it so that way that is on top. There we go. You don't have to be completely exact with it when you spin, because as long as you're kind of close and you let go of the, the button, it will kind of just shift the blocks where they need to go. I think this game is also made for handheld because when you when you first launch the game it says you can go ahead and drag your finger on the screen to and point and, and click on the screen to move things and move the robot and move the blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and guide them out through here. So again, like we're we're on the easy levels. We've gone through a bunch of the easy levels, so these are not hard by any means until we get to like the medium and tricky ones. Hopefully this will give you a good idea what this game is all about. All right, so what do we got here? Ooh, okay, so this one's got like a lot of water. And, um, hmm. Okay, interesting. So I need to go, can I drag this up? Oh, I can drag this up. I wonder if the robot can actually go in the water. We'll find out. Can you go in the water? Okay, you can go in the water. Music's not bad. Like I said before, the graphics are pretty decent. They're not the most revolutionary graphics, but they get the job done. They, they convey the simple message this game is trying to show. Music fits right with it. It's, it's halfway decent. Okay, oh, I gotta move this up, okay. Ooh. Oh, I can't move that down. Okay, okay. What do we got here? How far did these go? Oh, okay, so I need to go back here. So once I cross, so sometimes the puzzles aren't so straightforward, because it look like you could actually go all the way across there, but, and go around, but apparently not. Apparently I have to go down this way. Let's go ahead and shift this over here. And now I should be able to shift this here. And move this all the way up. Nope. 
Maybe it's just down, okay. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm trying to get over here. What is, what is this? How far does this go? This goes this way. Okay, so I need to definitely, I definitely need to get on. So if I rotate this way, let's see what I got. Alright, so this block goes here, which allows me to get over here to get to this block so I can go up to here. So I need to find out how I can get to... Oh, uh, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Alright, so let's move this block down. Move this guy around here. We'll move this block up. And then shift him to the back here, because it looks like this is the block that we need to get up on that pedestal there. So we'll go ahead and go up this way and around over here. Put him on there, and let's shift him all the way up to get to the top. And then now we can shift this block down, and this should give us to our, our uh, lead us to our exit. There we go. And then we're there. Some of the levels will have additional uh, other characters in there. Like there was this one level that I just finished not too long ago that had a, a, another robot I had to push. And I'm sure as you go into the further trickier levels, they're going to be kind of the same way. They're going to have other things that are obstacles or things to avoid. There are times where you can actually hit your robot by accident. There was like a spinning level where I actually hit the robot and he fell off the course. And anytime you actually hit your robot and it falls off, you have to actually just do the entire. Well, you won't. Well, restart the entire level. I mean, it's not like it's a huge restart process anyway. What is this? Oh, okay, I think I have to move it. Oh, is this kind of block? Interesting. Okay, let me go over here. Try to figure out, okay, this goes over. Does this go down too? No. Just goes over. I feel like this needs to go up, but it goes in. Okay, so let's go up here. Now I need to get him on this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is he going all crazy? It's weird. It's like, uh, can I step over this? Oh, okay. I'm able to just go right through it. I wonder what the dark blocks are for. Because there's ones that are dark and ones that are not. Why is this like this? Strange. See, it allows me to... Oh, weird. Okay, maybe certain things have to be pulled out before you can pull other things. Almost like as if they were all attached there in the middle. Now there's this one. Okay, let me get that out. Let's go up here. Pull this block out. Oh, I need to go up here on the stairway. Okay, let's. Once I slide this back in, I should be able to get to this. All I have to do is click where you want him to go and he'll go. You don't have to like navigate him or worry about him getting stuck. I haven't seen the robot get stuck once yet. All right, so I'm gonna do one more. Which one of these should I do? Because this castle one looks really, really cool. Um, but this was probably gonna introduce new mechanics. So let's just go ahead and do this one, for the last one. The double maze, okay. I like how you can zoom in and out. I did not know you could do that earlier. Okay, so what is this? So this, I'm assuming, is a grab and drag, right? Okay, oh, all right, so you can drag those up and down. Neat. Um, let's go over here. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna put click this here. Every time that click that dinging goes off for the music, I always feel like it's the game trying to tell me I'm doing something right. Oh, I can't go that way. If I go that way, it's not gonna work. Oh no, you know what? It, it will. I have to go up. Bing. Okay. Let's go over here now. I have to make work my way all the way over to here, right? Should be able to go that way. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, let's go this way. No? Oh, because you can't go past the bar. You can't go past the bar. Alright. So this is a dead end. Which one do I need to make go to? I need to go that way. Oh, I just need to make it over here to this one. But the only one that can make that is this right here. So these two right here are the ones that have access to... No, they don't. Oh yeah, they, they, they do. Because once you go down... Or oh, actually this one right here. So once this one goes down, it has access to get over here to go up to go to this one. So I need to make it to this one. So how do I make it to that one? Let's go back here. Yeah, let me go down. I'll come back around this way. I think I need to go this way. I'm gonna come back all the way over here because I, I feel like I went the wrong way. Alright, so we go this way, up and around. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, man, I can't believe I didn't see that. Whoa, see, I hit my robot there. Perfect example of what happens when you hit him. Sometimes you can knock him right off the course. So I need to go over here. Right? This one? No, it's this one. So right over here. We get on this little. Yep. Let me move him down. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this game is there's no triple stars, which is fantastic. And that's kudos to developers for not doing that. Every time I see like a small little indie game developer, someone's got to do some kind of triple star, triple trophy, or something. And this, these people did not do that. It's just complete the level. Can you figure it out? Can you get through it? If you can, you're done. And there we go, double Macy, and you just get a check mark for every time you complete something. And after you complete it, it opens up some more cards, and then when you get done with all the cards on this easy section, then all you have to do is then go to the medium and then tricky. And I guess if you're feeling uh, creative, then go ahead and create your own uh, levels. But that's pretty much it. Guide the robot through to the end and try to figure everything out. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.